All right, folks, welcome back. This is another episode of Bellatro Science, and you are probably wondering how we got here. This is anti-8, by the way, and so without even going into endless mode, we already have 23 jokers. We have negative hack giving us re-triggers on all of our twos. We have negative ancient joker giving us X molt on all of our diamonds. And we also have negative brainstorm giving us copies of our other jokers. I can tell you no cheats or mods were used in this. However, this is a seeded run. And so if we go here, you can see this seed. I will copy it in the video description if you want to give it a try yourself. I know these seeded runs are not for everybody. I know some people sort of scoff at seeded runs. They say random seed takes way more skill. In my opinion, it's just different skills. And so with a set seed, you theoretically have perfect information. If you give different people the same information, they won't all be able to do the same thing. If you give different people the same puzzle, not everyone will be able to solve that puzzle. And so how about you let me cook? And then at the end, you can tell me whether or not you were impressed. All right, for starters here, we are playing on the ghost deck for the spectral cards, and we are playing on the black stake for the eternal jokers. This stuff will make uh, more sense later. Let's just jump right in with the start of the run. So from the beginning here, the first step we're going to do, we're going to take the coupon tag, skip here, giving us a discount in the shop. Um, in the first round, when you're playing on set C, like I said, you have perfect information. So I know what cards are going to come up. I know that there's going to be enough aces to play four of a kind. So let's just discard and then there's the four of a kind. Um, in general, if you're you know trying to route your own seeds, your own seeded runs, you know what I do to route is just use all my discards then look at the deck and see what I can build out of the cards that we're seeing. So for example, I can build a full house out of kings and jacks. I can build a flush out of hearts, not quite a straight flush. Um, or I can also see here I've got enough aces to do the four of a kind. Um, I want the four of a kind so that I can win in just one hand. Three hands left over, giving me an extra dollar. All right, now since we took the coupon tag, we've got $0 Saturn, I can sell Grim, I can sell for $2 as well. And then now these two Arcana packs, the order that you open does matter. And so first we're gonna open the small Arcana pack and then use this Temperance for $0. Because now when I go into the second Arcana pack, for one, I can use the soul card to get Perkeo. By the way, this is why we're using this seed because it gives us access to Perkeo and we'll be doing some Perkeo stuff. And the reason why we use the temperance in the first pack is because here we have a fool now that can give us a temperance card. And so instead of having a temperance card in the booster pack, we have the temperance card in hand is important because now Perkeo can copy this temperance card in our hand. We can even, we can use the hex to make Perkeo polychrome, increasing its sell value, and so now Temperance is worth $12. Before we leave the shop here, we are gonna spend our money on the reroll voucher. It will be worth it in the end. Um, in a later ante, there's a round where we wanna reroll 30 times in one round. We wanna reroll 90 times in one ante. And so the reroll voucher is gonna help a lot with that. All right, if we just go next, now that we have two copies of Temperance, we have the negative copy of Temperance, I can go ahead and use the regular copy. That's gonna take me $16, so I have money for interest as well. In the next round here, I did search for, I was trying to win in just one hand, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't find a hand that would win in one. There's no four of a kind, there's no straight flush. So we'll just discard for clubs and then win in two hands was the best that I was able to find. So the flush and then follow it up with a straight. It's not a very big straight, but because Perkeo is polychrome, we get a few extra points and then those two hands are enough to win. 
All right, in the shop here, you know, normally what you want to do is you want to save your money for interest. And so $26 here, you know, we want to go next. Um, but because Perkeo is giving us copies of Temperance, we can spend a little bit and then use Temperance to get our money back up before the round is over. Actually here, something kind of interesting, we can use Overstock. That draws one card. And then if we reroll, that draws these cards. And then now we get Ankh. Ankh, if we use it, will give us a copy of Perkeo. And so now instead of getting just one Temperance card, now we get two Temperance cards each round. And we can also pick up the Supernova here. Um, Supernova going to help our scoring. And then also, you know, since it sells for $3, this gives us more sell value on our Temperances. Now $27 for every Temperance. If we go next, you know, two cards, that's $54 per round. So because we're getting so much value from our Perkeos each round, now no more skips. No more skips for the rest of the run. All right, um, we have in hand here, we've got three tens and two sevens. We can go ahead and make a full house. And with the help of the Supernova being foil and also these Polychromes, this is a winning hand. This will win in one. Uh, before we do that, Let's use our temperance. Now, you know, we left the shop with only $2, but we're back up to $29 so that we have the $5 maxed out interest. And then now we can ship the full house. All right, in the shop here, I know what's coming. I know if I reroll one time, I can pick up this rebate as another money generator, another value generator. I can reroll two times for this devil. Before I open the Arcana pack, I'm going to pick up the devil because I know if I open the Arcana pack, there's a death card in here. And so I can turn this ace into gold and then right away I can copy it with the death card and now I have two gold cards. All right, before we leave the shop, I am going to reroll just one more time because I know there's an egg here and I want to get the egg as early as possible so it can start growing and then it will grow faster. Let's go next. All right, we got our extra copies of Temperance. I will use one so that we can get our interest for the next round. All right, in here I'm looking for sevens, discarding sevens to give us rebate money. So I'm going to discard here and then one more time looking for sevens. All right, we have one seven. Instead of discarding it, I'm actually going to play a hand and then save my discard. So, you know, some consideration. I tr was trying to figure out how could I get as much rebate money as pop possible? How to get as many sevens as possible? At the same time, was there a way for me to get as many gold cards as possible? Get both of my aces for the money? And what I was able to figure out is I could do it, but it takes two hands. Uh, two hands is fine if I'm getting you know an extra six or nine dollars. So I'm gonna play here three of a kind queens. And then that allows me to draw an extra seven that I can discard. And also allows me to draw the extra ace for the gold. And then play two pair will be enough. So if you were paying attention there, there was a full house with queens and jacks. Um, and it would have won in one hand, but we would have gotten less money overall. All right, after, after cashing out here, let's go Celestial Pack. Uh, this is a seeded run, so I do have notes written down here. I'm just checking my notes. Um, the main scoring technology going forward is going to be high card. We're going to be playing high card, so I want to take the Pluto card here. Before I take the Pluto card, I'm also going to pick up Earth. You know, I could, as a backup, play Full Houses. Spoiler alert, I'm not going to play full house ever again. I'm going to play high card and you'll see why in a second. So I take the Pluto there. 
And then after we'll use the Arcana pack. Arcana pack has Hangman. Generally, we're interested in removing all of the cards from our deck so that we can get our more valuable cards more often, get our gold cards more often. I'll just remove these face cards. And then before we leave the shop, we will re-roll two times. And then sell the rebate for the half joker. So now that we have the half joker giving us plus 20 molt, when we play just one card, now we can win with high card. Now we have plenty of points. Um, it also happens to be foil. And so has, you know, the $3 sell value for our temperance now up to 35. Now, we do have a lot of extra money. So we've got $32 on hand. We've got these temperance cards here. If we wanted to, we could do some more re-rolling. So I already did. I already scouted ahead and there's nothing ahead that I want. So I'm just going to go next. Um, if you didn't already know, the way that the shop queue works is every ante has its own shop queue. There's a, you know, a different lineup for every ante. And so in this ante, in ante two, no matter how much I reroll, I won't get anything that I want. I wanna go ahead to the next ante, go to ante three, and then in ante three, there are things that I want to reroll for. So let's go next. All right, against the boss here, I already have the gold cards in hand, which means I can just play here high card. Demonstrating, you know, there's 6,500 points. We have plenty of points for the next couple of rounds. All right, Celestial Pack will give us Pluto, so we can continue leveling that up. And then, before we reroll, I'm gonna buy this Jupiter card and reroll one, two, three times. Um, the reason why I picked up this Jupiter card, this used to be Jupiter, but because I have Jupiter here, the repeat Jupiter was re-rolled and became Pluto instead. And so, you know, in random seed runs and just normal runs, I say, hey, if you hold on to the planet cards, it blocks duplicates from spawning. It makes it more likely that you find the other different planet cards that you actually want. Here in this set seed, you know, I can figure out ahead of time you know what the different duplicates are and what the rerolls are and so this used to be jupiter now pluto reroll three times by the way polychrome um, shoot the moon the joker that gives you plus 13 molt for every queen held in hand if the thing that you want to do is win with high card you know very powerful joker you know giving you plus 13 molt for each queen. You can just discard until you find your queens. You know, potentially more molt than half joker, but we don't need it. And also there will be a point where we don't want to discard and we don't want to dig through our deck for our queens. So we're gonna stick with the half joker. Now, since we're out of money here, we'll use temperance so that we can get some more money for re-rolling. And we're gonna re-roll exactly two times. And so generally speaking, the strategy is, you know, if you want to reroll a lot, you should be spreading out your rerolls. So, you know, reroll a little bit in this shop and the next shop and the next shop, uh, because every time you reroll, it increases the cost. And if you spread it out, then you're gonna save a lot of money. And so in this ante in ante three, to get the thing that I want, I know I need something like 27 rerolls total and so in order to reach 27 rerolls total i'm going to reroll nine times in each shop or reroll eight times in each shop or something like that and so here i've done uh it was eight total rerolls and then now i'll just sell the jupiter and save my reroll money for rerolling in the next shop and go next All right, in here, you might want to discard looking for the gold ace. Um, it turns out that it's too deep in the deck. It turns out that you can't actually find it. And so I'm just going to play this king instead and then just get the one shot here. 
uh, 8400 points almost 8500 points because we have the upgraded high card All right, in the shop here, I'm going to start with the Arcana pack. Has another Hanged Man for me, and so we can get rid of some more face cards. Then let's re-roll three times, according to the notes, so that I can pick up this Sigil here. Re-roll one time, picking up Ectoplasm. So this is the plan. The plan is, you know, in the end, I want to get a lot of Jokers. And the way that we get a lot of Jokers we need a lot of negatives and we make the negatives with ectoplasm. The reason why we're playing on the ghost deck is so that I can get the ectoplasm consumable spectral card and then Perkeo can copy these ectoplasms. And then, you know, with my copies of ectoplasms, I can use those to make more negative jokers. Fine. All right, after I have this ectoplasm, let's re-roll one time, but then we're out of money, so we'll use Temperance. Reroll two times. There we go. So this, again, this used to be Sigil. There was two copies of Sigil in the shop, Sigil and then another one. And then since we are holding on to this one, the repeat is rerolled and becomes Aura instead. So we'll sell here and we'll pick up the Aura. And then this will allow us to, you know, enhance our two, get our fancy two in the end. Um, after picking up the aura here, let's reroll twice. All right, so we're out of money here, but we can use temperance and sell the egg. So, you know, of course we want to hold on to the egg as long as possible so that it's, you know, increasing in value and making all of our temperances worth more money. However, you know, once we start making negative jokers, it doesn't matter anymore, right? We'll have a bunch of negative jokers that have plenty of sell value, so I don't need the egg. What I need is this showman. So showman is going to allow me, you know, we've demonstrated in the past on random seed. I can get three copies of brainstorm and additional copies of Blueprint as well with the Showman on this seed. I did try to find a Showman that wasn't Eternal, a little bit awkward that it's Eternal because I can't sell it, um, but I wasn't able to find one that was regular. There, I think there's like three or four Showmans that show up and all of them are Eternal. Eternal. So we'll take this one that's Eternal and then after picking up the Showman, we'll go into the Spectral Pack. All right, so a couple of things here. Spectral Pack has Ectoplasm. We have Ectoplasm in hand. We needed to pick up the Ectoplasm as we were rerolling through the shop. And so if you don't reroll enough, if you don't reroll until you find the Showman, then opening the Spectral Pack, it's not gonna have the Ectoplasm. And so you need to reroll deep enough. And so we planned out exactly how far we needed to reroll and here, the reason why I'm using the foil half joker and the foil supernova instead of some other kind of scoring jokers that might help me, or, you know, the reason why I sold the mail and rebate that was giving me money is because, also the egg, right? The reason I sold the egg is because if these are additions, then my ectoplasm can't turn these negative. This will only target showmen. And so that's why I sold the egg. All right, I also have the aura here. Something that's kind of neat about this seed is the first use of aura is polychrome. And so we get the polychrome too, and then we can start enhancing it in other ways later. And then before we exit here, we'll use the ectoplasm. And then now we've got the negative showman. All right, um, I think that's all we need to do in this shop. So we'll go next. Uh, we pick up a negative copy of ectoplasm and so we can sell the other copy of ectoplasm to free up the consumable slot and then we'll go next all right now we can dig for that other ace that other gold card there we go two gold cards 
It's not as much money as we're making from temperance, but you know, every little bit helps. All right, in the shop, Arcana is going to have a fool. Well, it has soul also. This soul will give you a uh, Yorick. We don't need Yorick. Um, we're gonna take the fool for the temperance. Uh, before we use the temperance, let's do some re-rolling. So here, two times, gives me delayed gratification. Holographic as well for the plus 10 molt. Um, so then, you know, sells for $3, increases the value of our temperance. Um, now re-roll six times. All right, we're out of money, so we'll use one temperance and re-roll one more time. And so the reason why I need to do all of this re-rolling is so that I can find this, so that I can find Emily, so that I can remove all of the cards from my deck. Um, I'll take a Pluto here. I'll buy the Immolate and I'll buy the Voucher. And then now what I want, I want Perkeo to copy the Immolate. And so I need to get rid of all of these Temperances. I can get more Temperance in the future and then make more copies in the future. But for now, I want more Immolate. Um, I'm not opening any standard packs because I know all of the, I looked inside all the standard packs, I know what they have, and so I didn't see anything that I needed. So we're skipping all of the standard packs, even though we have plenty of money. And we don't need the extra aura because we already have the polychrome. All right, in the next round here, uh, I am going to use one immolate so that I can, you know, free up the consumable slot and then we'll hold on to these other negatives here. Um, I know already that the gold cards are not in my hand and so there's no risk of them being destroyed. And now, you know, after using immolate, if you look at the deck here, you can see we still have the gold cards in the deck. Um, instead of discarding, I'm just going to play and then collect the money from the delayed gratification. All right, now we've got uh, the Fool gives us another Temperance and I can buy the upgraded reroll voucher. And so because we bought the reroll voucher in the first shop, we we're able to buy the upgrade here. Now rerolls start at $1. So we can, let's reroll one time for Pluto. Then we'll reroll five times. And then there's our brainstorm. So we can get rid of, uh, I'm gonna get rid of supernova. And then now that I have brainstorm, I want to be copying per KO. So I can get three cards per round. And then three rerolls. So that's the number of rerolls that I want. Again, you know, similar to in Anti 3, I know in Anti 4, I want, you know, something like 30 rerolls total. And so we'll reroll 10 ish times, or I think it's like nine times here. And then we'll open the Arcana pack. The Arcana pack doesn't have anything that I want here. I could use the wheel. But I happen to know, you know, I tried all the wheels and I happen to know that if I use eight wheels on this seed, all eight of them do nothing. And so I can just skip here. And then in the standard pack, so in anti three standard packs, I knew there wasn't anything that I wanted, but in anti four, I know that this is going to have the purple seal. And after that, we'll go ahead and use the Temperance card to get rid of it so that I can copy more of these Immolates. There we go. All right, going into the next round, let's go ahead and move the Polychromes to the right. Let's go ahead and copy the Half Joker with the Brainstorm. Uh, by the way, the delayed gratification is incompatible. You can't get extra money. 
um, I'm going to use ectoplasm here so that we get the negative brainstorm and then just play. No discarding because we want to get the delayed gratification money. All right, in the shop, if I go Arcana pack, none of this stuff matters. Uh, I do have a glass card here if I want to make a glass card or I could take an emperor here. Um, I'm going to skip because I know the other Arcana pack is going to have a fool. And then so I'm able to copy the temperance card. If you use the emperor, then this fool would not give you temperance anymore. Uh, I'm not going to use it right away for kind of the same reasons. You know, we want to save it for the Fool card. I am going to pick up the Ankh. So this is the last piece of technology for our build here. We want to, in the end, we want to get a lot of Jokers, right? And we want to make a lot of negative Jokers. Well, the way that you get more Jokers is using Ankh, getting copies. Except the Ankh will destroy all of your Jokers. So what we need to do is we need to get eternal jokers. We need to get eternal jokers that won't be destroyed. And then that way we can repeatedly use Ankh and keep getting more jokers. And so that's why we're playing on the black stakes. That's why we're playing with the eternal jokers is so that we can use Ankh to get a lot of copies. We can use ectoplasm to make a lot of negatives because if you didn't already know, you know, when you make a copy here, the copies will not be negative. And so we need both. We need ectoplasm and we need onk. All right, after picking up the onk here, let's reroll. Here's a burnt joker. So we use the ectoplasm so we have an extra joker slot. So we can pick up jo burnt joker here. Remember to copy Perkeo. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So here's another fool card, like I said. So here's temperance. Copy it with the Fool. Reroll four times. All right, that is the correct number of rerolls. Uh, again, trying to spread out our rerolls between different shops. Uh, before we leave the shop, I am going to use the Temperance card. Just like we said before, we want to maximize the probability that Perkeo gives us Immolate instead of something else. And then there we go, we get three copies of Emulate. Uh, Perkeo goes here, Brainstorm copying half Joker. All right, we're going to discard. The reason why we're gonna discard is because now we've got the Burnt Joker. We can copy with the Brainstorm. Um, I've got a purple seal here that's gonna give me a tarot card. So let's discard like this. I wanna get rid of the two, discard the Polychrome card. Uh, the purple seal gives us devil. Um, I'm actually going to sell this. Um, you know, there's a future fool. You know, since we use temperance cards, we don't need the gold cards anyway. Watch what's going to happen. So we have five cards. I'm going to use emulate to remove five cards. Like these five cards I don't need. So let's remove them. If you didn't already know, when you have zero cards in hand, it'll automatically redraw you a new hand. And so if we didn't use the ectoplasm and we had, let's say, hand size seven instead, then using Immolate, you'll get rid of five cards. You'll have two cards left over. You won't get the redraw. But because we have exactly hand size five, we're able to do this. We're able to go Immolate, redraw, Immolate again. I'm able to use all of my Immolates. Uh, except for right here, we do get the gold card. So I'm going to discard the gold card. So just like in the beginning, I discarded the two so that I could save it. Here I'm discarding the ace so that I can save it. And then continue using my emulates. Alright, and then that's it. Uh, so here's the other gold card. I can go ahead and here play the six. All right, in the shop now, let's re-roll one, two, three, four. 
Uh, I skipped the Emperor because here's a fool. Again, going to copy Temperance. And then now that I use the fool, I can open the Celestial Pack. Celestial Pack giving me Pluto. Fool, we want to use it first so that, that we make sure we get the Temperance. Then let's reroll three times. There's a clown. Um, this gratification is going to get replaced, so I'm going to sell it now. Pick up the clown for the free reroll. And then keep going until we get the blueprint. And so this is why this is why we want the showman. The showman will allow us to get extra copies of blueprint for the run. Um, let's make sure that Perkeo is being copied here. So blueprint copying brainstorm, brainstorm copying Perkeo. That's four cards per round. And now I'm going to keep the Temperance card rather than using it because I used up all of my Immolates. Now I want to get these Temperance cards because I need money. Um, in Anti-7, the plan is to reroll 90 times in Anti-7. That's 30 times per round. And so I need $1,500 to do that. The way that I get $1,500 is by getting more Temperance cards. So right now I want to get as many Temperance cards as I can. Let's go next. Also, no more standard packs. Uh, you know, now I have the purple seal that I want. I don't need anything else. All right, so in the next round, I can go ahead and copy the burnt joker. So now I get three levels here. You know, if I wanted to discard like this, And then move the copy, now copying half joker. All right, something that's like kind of awkward here is I have all of these extra ectoplasms. And so when Perkeo starts to make copies, it's kind of like uniform between all of these different things here. And whichever one you have more of, that's the one that's more likely to get copied, right? Here, if I have half of these cards are ectoplasm, then half of the time it's gonna give me another ectoplasm. And I want at the end, kind of an even mix. I want an even amount of ectoplasm and onk. Um, or right now what I want is, I just want more temperance cards. And so the way that I make that happen is I'm gonna get rid of these extra ectoplasms. So a little bit unfortunate there, we got the ectoplasms instead of the temperances, but it'll be fine in the end. All right, uh, after selling the ectoplasms, um, I could discard looking for my purple seals. I happen to know that it, it just doesn't come up early enough, and so it's fine if we just play the seven here, and then we'll get $6 from the gold cards. And then move the Perkeo so that it can be copied in the future. All right, in the shop, um, I want this voucher, gives me extra interest. Every little bit helps. Then in the Arcana pack, I know the Arcana pack has another copy of death, and so I can make another purple seal. And then we'll do some re-rolling. Um, so once again, spreading out our re-rolls, we're gonna start by re-rolling nine times. Um, by the way, you know, if you're doing these seeded runs and you want to keep track of how many times you've rerolled, the rerolls started at $1. And so if it says $10 now for the next reroll, that means I rerolled nine times. By the way, you know, if you've seen my, uh, skip tag tier list, I put the reroll tag, the, uh, D6 tag very highly. This is why. So here, you know, it says that your rerolls start at zero. It's different from the clown. The clown says you get one free reroll. The D6 tag says it starts at zero, and then the next one is $1, and the next one is $2, and the next one's $3, instead of being five, six, seven, eight dollars $8. Which means, if you have money for rerolling, if you reroll five times, you save $25. If you reroll 10 times, you save $50. 
And so here, you know, having these vouchers that give us the discounted rerolls, I was able to reroll, you know, starting at $1 up to the last one I just spent was $9. I was able to save, you know, $4 times however many rerolls that I did. That's how powerful the D6 tag is. All right, after rerolling here, um, I think we just go next and continue trying to copy the temperances. Uh, again, here, this wheel does nothing. Maybe that's not different from normal. All right, uh, next. Let's copy the burnt joker. All right, now that I have a negative copy of Ankh, I'm gonna sell this regular copy of Ankh, and then to keep my Ankhs and ectoplasms even, I'm gonna sell an ectoplasm, that way I have two and two here. After doing that, if I discard now, let's say if I discard like this, discard the purple seal um, for the burnt joker, it'll give me another temperance card. All right, after that, um, I'm not going to use this temperance and then, you know, if I did, if I wanted to get an extra tarot card from the purple seal, I would use temperance and then I would discard the purple seal. I happen to know that the purple seal doesn't give me something that I want. It doesn't give me something that's useful. So I'm not going to discard it. Um, I'm just going to, you know, with the two gold cards here, I'm just going to ship it. And then I'm going to save this temperance for the next couple rounds so that I can have better chances of getting copies if I hold on to both of these temperances. All right, so here I'll just play the nine. All right, in the shop here, we're going to reroll four times gives us another blueprint there because we have the showman and I'm going to keep the half joker because currently the half joker is doing all of our scoring giving us the 20 molt and then also the uh, foil chips I'm gonna sell the burnt joker and then pick up the blueprint here and then this is partially because you know if I then use an ectoplasm Ectoplasm will give me a negative burnt joker, which is not what I want. What I want is a negative blueprint, and so I got to get rid of the burnt joker. Also, my high card does not need to be very high for what I'm trying to do. It just needs to be high enough, and it's already kind of high enough, so we can get rid of the burnt joker. Then let's re-roll three times. Buy this Pluto card and then re-roll three more times. Um, I'm not opening any of the Celestial Packs in this ante because I know none of the Celestial Packs contain Pluto. Um, so we just go next. Uh, let's make sure Perkeo gets copied here. So five copies of Perkeo. Gives us a bunch of extra temperances. All right, in the next round. All right, in the next round, what are we trying to do here? So I have an extra ectoplasm. And like I said, I want to try to have an even number of ectoplasms and onks. So I'm going to sell this ectoplasm. And with my two, with my temperances here, I currently have, you know, maxed out consumable slots. I am going to use one of these to make room. All right, let's discard here, finding the purple seal. So now the purple seal is gonna give me a gold card if I want it. And then the other purple seal just gives me lovers, which I can sell. And then we'll play the two here and then collect $9. All right, make sure Perkeo gets on the left so it can be copied. Uh, what's next? So 
in the shop, we want to reroll two times. That's going to give us another Pluto card. Reroll seven times. And then there's the deja vu. So that's going to give us the red seal to go on our two, on our polychrome two. Um, I think that's all we need to do here for this shop. Um, so that's it for anti five. Extra copies of temperance there and more ectoplasms. You know, kind of unfortunate we keep getting the ectoplasms instead of onks. All right, here we're going to sell one of these ectoplasms. I'm going to use this temperance to make room. So now I've got an extra consumable slot. I can go ahead and discard here. Judgment I can sell. And then I'm going to discard the nine. All right, gives me a glass card. So I can go glass seven. And then on this two, I have my red seal. So there's my polychrome with the red seal. And I happen to know if I play this glass card, it will break. All right, now we're in anti six. And so the shop queue is different. And so, you know, let's figure out how much we want to reroll. Um, I think not very much, to be honest. There's not much in anti six for us to get. So let's go first. Let's not buy the clearance sale. So clearance sale makes everything cheaper. If it makes everything cheaper, it reduces the sell cost of your jokers. So then it weakens your temperances. Instead of getting $50 temperance, I will get $35 temperance. Um, there is a little bit of rounding when it reduces the cost. Um, so we're not going to buy the voucher here. I will open the Arcana pack. Arcana pack for... I chose to pick up a glass card here. Um, I think it ends up not mattering, but you know, there's always the chance that you get the glass card and then you try to break the glass card. So we'll go glass four here. Then if I reroll one time, we get a seltzer. So if I sell this half joker, now I have the seltzer. For now we'll copy Percao, but the seltzer, you know, it's also foil here. And so it's safe for me if I want to use ectoplasm. Let's reroll three times. There's another blueprint. Like I said, three blueprints. Let's use this Pluto. Let's make room by using an ectoplasm because this seltzer is foil, it won't become negative. And then I can buy this extra blueprint. Now we have six copies of Percao every round. All right, go next. All right, so once again, you know, kind of unfortunate, we got extra copies of ectoplasm, so I'm just gonna sell them. So here's one, two ectoplasm. All right, in this round, let's discard. We get the priestess. That's just two bucks, I guess. Then I want to do this. So I'm going to discard the red seal so that I can draw the gold card and then play the glass card. And so because this is glass, we do get the retrigger from the seltzer. All right, now, mm, Celestial Pack, I'm going to skip. There isn't anything in here that I need. Uh, the reason why I'm taking this Celestial Pack is because there's a Celestial Pack in the next round. And so if I take the Celestial Pack here, the next round will have different contents 
It'll give me a Pluto card in the future. All right, I want to pick up Justice here to make another glass card if I open this Arcana pack. So I can go six here as another glass card. Um, there isn't anything here that I need, so I'll just skip. And then go next. Uh, make sure Perkeo is being copied here for the Temperances. There we go, one copy each, Ankh, and then also Ectoplasm. All right, in the next round, I want to discard, looking for the purple card, I think. Yeah, so there's the purple one. Um, yeah, how do I want to do this? I think I want to keep the two. Is that what we want to do? So that I don't end up breaking the glass card? Or I think that's correct now. I think we do this. I think we sell the death card and discard the six. That's going to give us a gold card. And then now we can get the re-triggered polychrome with the seltzer. I only have eight cards left in the deck. And so... You know, I don't want to remove too many from the deck. All right, let's cash out here in the shop. I don't need to reroll. Like I said, in anti six, there's nothing in anti six shop that I want. So I'm not going to reroll. I'm going to go small celestial pack. So I know, you know, there's a Pluto coming up and the Pluto happens to be, I think the second card. And so if I open the Jumbo Celestial Pack, it'll contain the Pluto, but if I open the cheaper one, it'll also have the Pluto as the second card. And then that's it. There's no more Plutos. So let's go next. Uh, before we do, so I said in the future, I need $1,500 in order to reroll 90 times. And so I was saving up all of these temperances, trying to make as many copies of temperance as possible. And now I have enough so I can use them all. My end game, remember I want to have a combination of ectoplasm and onk. So let's use all the temperances. There we go. And I think that's it. So go next. Make sure Perkeo is being copied. And then we get an even split there. We got three onks and three ectoplasms. Perfect. Copy the seltzer. All right, against the boss here, I want to discard looking for my purple seal. So there's the purple seal. Gives me an emperor. Uh, I've got a fool here that I'm gonna hold on to. And then draw the gold card. In the shop, so now this is anti-7, and like I said, I want to re-roll 30 times this shop, or close to it. So let's re-roll once. I can swap out this judgment card. Swap out this judgment card for this hangman, then re-roll twice. All right, now what I'm gonna do in the jumbo arcana pack, I can go ahead and use this hangman to remove both. By the way, once you remove, if you have no cards here, if you can't select anything, like I can't use cherry, for example, I can't skip anymore. I can't skip if there's no cards here. So, you know, this can soft lock you. Um, there's the challenge where, you know, if you have 
more money you have smaller hand size if you have hand size zero then you can't go anywhere luckily uh, temperance we can use here to escape and then now this fool can give me a copy of temperance I'm gonna take magician here and then reroll reroll here we can pick up a hermit one more time picking up Pluto another hermit and then eight more times All right, so here's Mercury. Um, we did pass, by the way, we passed an eternal hack. That is the end game technology. What we wanna get in the end is we wanna get eternal jokers, so we wanna get an eternal hack. Um, I don't need this eternal hack because I know there's one in the future. All right, after we take the Mercury there, uh, I'm gonna take Mercury because, you know, currently we have hand size two and this will allow me to play two cards, play a pair instead of high card. You'll see why in a second. Let's re-roll two more times. All right, so another fool here. So let's go ahead and, whoops. Let's use this temperance. Fool gives us another temperance. All right, after we do that, we can re-roll one more time, picking up another hermit. Re-roll two more times. All right, here we go. Uh, I'll use the hermit to make room, and now I have magician and death so after all of that now i'm going to open the arcana pack so now this two with the red seal i can make it into a lucky card and i can copy it and so that's why i didn't want my glass cards to break is so that i can have extra cards to make copies of copies of my two and then to finish off here we can take a temperance for 50 bucks and then re-roll twice perfect all right Perkeo's being copied so we go next we do end up with you know there two ectoplasms and then four onks and so we're a little bit ahead on the onks but i do know you know because i've done this before i do know it'll balance itself out later so we're just going to keep the onks here rather than trying to sell the onks to balance it out it'll balance itself out i happen to know already now here I have the twos. They are both lucky, so I get all of the lucky cards re-triggered with the seltzer five times, plus the red seals. All right, here I've got Celestial Pack, contains Pluto, pair of Plutos actually, and let's open the Arcana pack. Arcana pack is, you know, Magician, Star here, this is just a skip, that's okay. One, two, three. Oh, uh, by the way, um, I'm not taking the Hone Voucher. Uh, Hone, ma you know, makes it more likely that you get additions because, you know, in the future, I want to get these Eternal Jokers and I want Eternals that have no additions on them because Ankh will copy the additions and you won't be able to make them negative. You won't be able to use Ectoplasm. So we don't take the Hone Voucher, even though we have plenty of money for it. Uh, we do take the Temperance here. We don't have to use it right away. I want to, let's see here, reroll 14 times it says.
Um, I don't need Ankh. What I need is Cryptid. Wait, do I want this Ankh? No, I want this. All right, so we want Cryptid because in the end, you know, currently I have hand size two, right? And I could, you know, try to make a really high scoring hand that has just one two in it or just two twos in it. Um, in the end, I want to be able to play five cards so that I can score more points. And so even though my hand size is currently two, I'm going to use cryptids to get extra cards in my hand. And we've, you know, done similar kind of technology before. So we take the cryptid here. Um, I am going to continue re-rolling. There we go. So, you know, as we were rolling through the shop there, there was a brainstorm that we skipped, a brainstorm that we don't need because we already have, you know, all these blueprints. Um, but this brainstorm is eternal. And so when we get to the end and we start using our onks, this one will survive. And so this brainstorm, you know, let's get rid of one of these blueprints, pick up the brainstorm here. And then with that, reroll one, two, three times, picking up the hermit. And then we've got a fool here. So we save the temperance so that we can use it now and then use the fool to get another temperance. And we'll go ahead and use the temperance. Because now what I want is I want my Perkeo to copy cryptid which is gonna be hard because you know I have 20 cards here, so there's only like a 5% chance that it copies Cryptid, but technically there's a chance. All right, let's go next. There we go, just like I said, we get a copy of the Cryptid there. And round two. All right, let's find the lucky card. Uh, devil here, again, we don't need. There's the lucky cards. All right, we're getting close to the end now. And so let's start setting up for the final hand. We're gonna start by picking up the hangman here. Um, then we can go arcana. We can take these two and re remove both. You know, now that we have these lucky twos. Um, unfortunately, we can't skip. We can't use the devil here. We can't use the empress here. So to escape, we need to use the wheel which doesn't work if you have all addition jokers. All right, so after using the wheel, we can re-roll. And then there's that hack. So we've passed several hacks. Now we're about to end anti-7, and so there's no more opportunity to get future hacks. Now this is going to replace our seltzer. I guess I'll put it right there. All right, after we pick up the hack, Roll two times to pick up a Pluto here. Roll one, two, three, four, six times. All right, this part's gonna look a little bit weird. Um, I know what I'm re-rolling for. I know I'm gonna get rid of this blueprint, and so I might as well get rid of it now. Take the clown, and then get the free re-roll. Um, I'm skipping all the emperors because I checked and I know that they don't give me what I want. And so I'm just going to reroll straight past it and pick up the temperance here. Also, we only have the one empty slot here, so the emperor only gives us one card. Now it's reroll 12 times. By the way, if you wanted to, as we're re-rolling through here, like I said, um, 
you know, 90 rerolls. We passed the Baron and then followed by the Mime. And so if you wanted to, you know, use Perkeo to copy Cryptids and then go for the Nan Imp hand, you could. This would be a seed that would work for it. Um, the question is, you know, can we get the Nan Imp? How early can we do it, right? And so, you know, when I was hanging out with Scooty, we got it in Anti-12. Um, and I think we can get it earlier than that. I think on this particular seed, I think you can actually get it by anti eight. So that's going to be my next, that's my future project here. You know, we're messing around with the Eternals and, you know, making a lot of copies of jokers just for fun. But in the future, you know, since we are on a set seed, how early can we get the Nan Inf, the infinite score? We'll find out in the next episode. All right, but here I do want the Ancient Joker, and it is again uh, one of these Eternal. So this completes our build, right? We've got the Eternal Hack, the Eternal Brainstorm, and the Eternal Ancient Joker. Unfortunately, we have the Eternal Showman as well, but I wasn't able to find a Showman that wasn't Eternal. Sell the Clown, pick up the Ancient Joker, and then we can use the Temperance. All right, let me make sure all my cards are in the right place. So Perkeo being copied here. And we're done with Anti-7. All right, in the next round, we discard one and then redraw three. So here's my lucky cards. All right, anti eight's a little bit weird. Um, for one, I'm gonna take the voucher here, and then I'm not gonna do any re-rolling uh, because, well, I'm not gonna do any re-rolling right now. If I re-roll the next set of three cards, there's a justice card, and in the future, I wanna be able to make my twos into glass. You know, for the final hand, I wanna make them glass, but for this round, I don't want them to be glass because I want to be able to play them and you know get the lucky money and so I'm not going to reroll here knowing that I can get the justice card get the glass card in the next shop um, I am going to open these arcana packs the correct order is we go jumbo first jumbo giving us temperance And then the small arcana giving us another temperance. If you open them in the opposite order, the small pack has nothing. And then the big pack has two temperance and you can't get both. So if we go jumbo first, we get both. All right, after that, uh, we don't need to do anything else in the shop other than make sure that our Perkeo is being copied here. All right, so somewhat awkwardly, we got a bunch of extra ectoplasms. So we got one copy of Cryptid, which is useful, but then we got a bunch of extra ectoplasms. So I am going to sell some of them. Um, I said we were a little bit ahead on onks at some point, and then now we're ahead on ectoplasms. Um, it turns out, you know, if you don't sell any ectoplasms, you end up with eight more than you need or something like that. So in the next round here, Let's sell some of these ectoplasms. It just increases the chance that we get uh, cryptid. I'll put over here for later, but sell two ectoplasms. Increases the chances that we'll get onks in the future. Um, I want to discard looking for my lucky cards. And then I do want to use, so here this cryptid, the regular cryptid, uh, I want to use it to get rid of it. I know that I have two negative cryptids in here for the final hand. And so I can use now four lucky cards with all of the re-triggers from the hack and the copies.
All right, so here's that justice card that I was talking about. So we'll pick up the justice card um, in the Mega Arcana. I can turn this into glass, and then after turning it into glass, I can turn it into diamonds. Uh, Ancient Joker is on diamonds right now. Also, I know in the future for the final round, uh, the Ancient Joker will be diamonds again. And then, you know, I don't really need any of this other stuff. If you want, we can use the Priestess for two bucks. You know, I can sell here. Pluto I don't need anymore because I'm playing my pairs of lucky cards. And there's one more thing that I need from Anti-8 from the shop from re-rolling. So I'm going to re-roll a few times. Mm, is there any of this stuff that I want? Probably not, right? I could take a Priestess. And I can sell again. Alright, I think that's it. I think that should do it. All right, so I've got a uh, blueprint copying Percao here. Let's sell, I think, two more ectoplasms is correct. And then go next. All right, let's go find our two. There we go. Try to get lucky. All right, final shop. Copy our Perkeo. All right, let's just reroll. I didn't write down how many times it's gonna take, but presumably it's a lot of times, a lot of rerolls. There it is, an extra copy of Ankh. Like I said, we had too many ectoplasms, and so here's an extra Ankh. That's it. Uh, there's a hex. All right. Let's go next. And we can go, well, all right. So if we go into the last round here, we want to find our glass too. So let's discard. Discard again. All right, so there's a glass too. So I'm gonna select this, and um, I want to start using my onks and my ectoplasms. And so I want to get rid of Parkeo and Blueprint. I want to sell all the jokers, and then now it's time to start making copies. Uh, I'll keep Hack on the left to be copied with the brainstorm. It's gonna take a minute. Should be some cryptids in here, right? So we use cryptid, copy R2, glass 2. Uh, whoops, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Here we go. Ectoplasm.
All right, that's all we can do there. All right, so we ended up with 24 jokers. That's actually more than we had last time. Um, I think maybe I messed up a little bit with the routing. Maybe I sold too many ectoplasms. All right, here's, let's do this first. Let's discard and let's get rid of the zonk. All right, so we've got, I don't know, we can count them if you want. So here's all these hacks. I'm gonna put them on the left here. So those are four hacks. Uh, we ended up with a bunch of these showmans, which don't do anything for us, unfortunately. Uh, I'll put the ancient jokers on the right. So we've got this one, and then here's another one. That's five. Eight of these, eight of these ancient jokers. And then we've got here brainstorms. So, you know, the kind of the, the way that this worked out is kind of the same way with the um, ectoplasms and onks, where when you have more of one thing, then that thing is more likely to be copied. And so, since the first copy was the ancient joker, we ended up with extra ancient jokers. Um, that's okay. That's actually optimal that's best because you want to have kind of an even split of hacks and also ancient jokers and so because we ended up with extra ancient jokers now the blueprints copying the hacks then these together add up to an equal amount whereas if you had an even split you know one third hack one third brainstorm one third ancient joker Brainstorm is forced to copy the thing on the left, and so it would be unbalanced. Um, so it's good that we got extra ancient jokers. All right, so now we're gonna play the, it's just a level one flush five. Um, there is a version where maybe we play the flush five earlier and then we get some planet cards, but you know, you're not gonna be able to scale it up that fast anyway, and so this is good enough. All right, I wanted to see how many jokers we could get and i wanted to see you know how what's the highest score that we can get without going into endless mode um, if you wanted to with the same seed you could follow the routing and you could you know play around with it and you can go further you know we don't have to use everything right now if you wait a couple more rounds you can get more copies of onct and ectoplasm and get more jokers if you want but here's the non-endless version So I don't know, something like, uh, you know, 10 to the 25th for each glass card. So maybe I'm predicting maybe something like, uh, you know, E100, maybe E110. That is a record. That is uh, for a set seed. That is the highest score in non-endless mode. Stay tuned next time. I don't know how long it's going to take me. You know, maybe another week. But uh, we'll be back with more Bellatro Science. I'll be going for getting Nan Inf, getting the infinite score without going into endless mode. Uh, it will be on the same seed though. It will be a set seed. All right. Give it a try yourselves, and you know, take care of yourselves.